The 25th Screen Producers Conference began as a celebration for the best year in ages for the Australian film industry, with 32 films grossing nearly $50 million at home and considerable overseas success. But quickly, producers from around the country revealed that times are tough. International production here has plummeted, claiming a new victim. Australia's largest lighting rental business, Panelux, is up for sale, likely to move offshore. With it could go all the technicians that service the local industry. The parity of our dollar with the US makes it challenging cost-wise, but also our incentives, our federal incentives, to attract production to Australia are not as competitive as they used to be in the past. While the box office results for Australian films have improved, the industry is arguing that increased government subsidy is crucial. Some say that compared to sport, the creative industries are completely marginalised. Veteran producer Anthony Buckley criticised Federal Arts Minister Simon Crean for not attending the conference. The film industry desperately needs assistance at this time and only Minister Crean can be there to listen to us, but he's not listening. That's nonsense. I met with the film producers three weeks ago. We had a very lengthy discussion about all the issues. More government help could follow depending on the outcome of a federal inquiry into the film and television industry. Anne-Maria Nicholson, ABC News.